China's Jatank unmanned aircraft has completed its first flight and is drawing attention for its size, flexibility, and surprising capabilities. This is not a typical drone. It's a large, modular platform designed to carry heavy payloads, fly long distances, and even release groups of smaller drones from the sky. In this video, we'll explore how Jatank was built and how its features could influence the direction of future aerial systems. Jatank enters a new category of unmanned aircraft based on its dimensions and technical features. The platform measures 16.35 meters long and spans 25 meters, placing it among the largest unmanned systems publicly revealed. With no cockpit or crew compartment, its internal volume is dedicated to mission equipment, payload modules, and structural reinforcements. This layout gives engineers more freedom to optimize function rather than accommodate human operators, allowing every component to contribute directly to performance and mission efficiency. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 16 tons and can carry up to 6,000 kilograms of payload. This level of lift far exceeds what most unmanned platforms can achieve and enables Jatank to fulfill duties typically assigned to mid-sized transport aircraft. Its generous payload margin also allows it to carry multiple types of equipment simultaneously, opening possibilities for missions that require varied tools or larger installations, further demonstrating how versatile the airframe can be in real-world applications. Jatank's 12-hour endurance adds another layer to its capability. Maintaining extended airborne operations requires careful aerodynamic shaping, fuel efficiency, and balanced structural weight. Jatank's long wings improve lift, reduce drag, and help sustain stable performance during lengthy flights. When combined with its 7,000-kilometer ferry range, the aircraft becomes well-suited for long-distance responsibilities across diverse regions, providing consistent reliability even during challenging environmental conditions or extended duration assignments. A defining feature of Jatank is its modular design. Instead of being built around one fixed configuration, Jatank uses a universal platform with modular mission payloads. Developers at AVIC created a system that accepts different pods and internal modules, enabling quick adjustments depending on the purpose of each flight. Its aerodynamic structure supports a wide speed range, a high service ceiling, and short takeoff and landing capability, which together broaden the environments where Jatank can operate. Jatank's modular design enables it to transition quickly between roles, making it highly adaptable for civilian and industrial needs. Reports note that its mission pods can be swapped in about two hours, giving operators the flexibility to respond to changing priorities without repositioning multiple aircraft. This rapid adjustment capability is one of the reasons the platform is receiving so much attention across different sectors. Its heavy lift capacity makes Jatank useful for aerial transport, especially in remote mountain regions or isolated islands where ground or sea routes may be inefficient. In areas with minimal infrastructure, Jatank can deliver sizable loads in a single flight, ranging from equipment kits to support materials. Its stable long-range performance ensures that valuable cargo arrives smoothly even over extended distances. In emergency scenarios, Jatank can help restore communication networks by carrying airborne relay modules. When regions temporarily lose connectivity, establishing reliable communication quickly becomes essential. Jatank's endurance gives it the ability to remain aloft for long periods, providing temporary coverage until ground systems are restored. This combination of endurance and payload capacity makes it a strong asset for post-disruption response operations. Jatank is also capable of carrying specialized equipment for geographic mapping, mineral exploration, and large-scale surveying. Its ability to fly far distances in one mission allows researchers to gather consistent data across broad areas. With advanced imaging tools installed, it can analyze terrain changes, assess agricultural zones, or evaluate geological formations without requiring multiple aircraft. For maritime and coastal observation, Jatank provides long-duration coverage useful for environmental monitoring, shoreline mapping, or oceanic research. These missions often require stable flight patterns and wide observational range, both areas where Jatank excels. 
Its versatility extends to forest monitoring, where it can detect environmental trends, assess vegetation health, and support conservation planning. This platform also aligns strongly with China's expanding low-altitude economy, where unmanned systems contribute to logistics, inspection, surveying, and service industries. Jatank adds a high-capacity layer to this ecosystem, bridging the gap between compact drones and full-sized aircraft. Its modular structure ensures it can integrate future technologies without redesigning the entire airframe, making it a long-term asset for evolving civilian needs. One of Jatank's most innovative features is its ability to function as an airborne UAV carrier. This title comes from an internal module known as the Isomerism Hive System, which allows the aircraft to carry and release large groups of smaller drones. This internal compartment is engineered to store these drones securely and deploy them at altitude when needed, offering a remarkably adaptable approach to multi-unit aerial operations in various practical scenarios. Reports indicate that the Hive module can hold hundreds of small drones, depending on their size and purpose. The ability to release so many units from one aircraft fundamentally changes how multi-point aerial tasks can be performed. Instead of launching individual drones from different ground locations, Jatank allows them to begin their missions from a centralized, airborne platform, improving efficiency and coordination. This system is especially useful for large area surveying since the deployed drones can spread out and capture data from multiple directions simultaneously. With imaging tools or sensing equipment mounted on each drone, the collective output provides a detailed, multi-angle view of the environment below. This makes Jatank unusually effective for environmental monitoring, terrain analysis, coastal mapping, or agricultural studies that require synchronized aerial input. Jatank's 12-hour endurance means it can deploy these smaller drones in phases as it travels, enabling layered coverage across multiple regions. Its long-range capability ensures it can reach distant locations before releasing the drones, making the process more flexible and efficient than traditional drone operations. Integrating the Hive module required significant engineering work. The fuselage must support the weight of the stored drones, maintain aerodynamic balance, and allow smooth release sequences without disrupting airflow. Jatank's reinforced internal structure and elongated frame help maintain stability both before and after deployment. Experts view the airborne UAV carrier concept as one of Jatank's most forward-looking innovations. It creates a new operational model where one large unmanned system becomes a hub for numerous smaller ones. This approach expands what is possible in remote sensing, communication support, and multi-point environmental observation. By combining heavy lift capacity with coordinated drone deployment, Jatank introduces a flexible and efficient method for large-scale aerial missions. Jatank's maiden flight marks a notable advancement in unmanned aviation. Its blend of heavy lift capability, long endurance, modular systems, and the ability to carry and release groups of smaller drones creates a versatile platform suitable for many civilian and scientific applications. From supplying remote regions to supporting environmental studies and temporary communication systems, Jatank demonstrates how flexible design can expand the role of unmanned aircraft even further across evolving industries. As development continues, it stands out as a promising example of how adaptable aerial platforms can support diverse needs in the years ahead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.